Again, this is Dan with uh, Senior Minister E-Bike Nation. This is Caleb. Say hi, hey. Caleb. Uh, we're riding downtown today, downtown Dayton. Uh, we've got about another five and a half, six miles to go. So we decided to start another video here since we uh, don't want really long, long videos. But I hope you guys enjoyed the last video. So let's give it a go. Yeah. to get the handlebars between the trees so I've, I've taken it before with my mountain bike but we're going to get both these uh, fat tire bikes up there and we're going to see how well they do on that terrain so we'll be having a video coming up uh, shortly on that one we'll have to get down to Eastwood Park here in a few minutes I know you've been through there before oh yeah we go through right through the park. A couple of times actually. Okay. Yeah. Some kind of event of some kind? Uh no, we used to walk through here a lot. Oh really? On the park yeah. right up here. Yeah, that's a nice park to walk through. Definitely, yeah. I know uh, we'll have to get that back brake working completely. Yeah, we got to get before taking get both of those. Yes. Because that was one big thing. I would have went faster through there, but if I would have had to stop, I couldn't as fast. And in the dirt, if you lock up the front wheel, you aren't steering. It's <laughs> a good point. <laughs> See, this goes all the way over here. Uh -huh. I didn't know. It <sighs> One second. We'll be able to ride right along the river once we get to the park. Yeah, I didn't know it went all the way down here. Oh, it sure does. Takes you right through the park. Then it goes to Mad River Trail once you get up here. Yeah, this this ended the. Uh, this Mad River Trail will take you clear up past Rip Rap Road, which I've been there before. Go all the way through downtown and head north. Yeah. That's where this goes. Well, then, uh, 15 miles this way. It's a lot more fun when you got somebody with you. Oh, yeah. You got someone to talk to. Yeah. So, we're all talking to uh, each other. We're both filming. So you may hear a little chatter in the background, but it's okay. We want to get some really good footage today. This place here is called Eastwood Park. Yeah, we'll be going left up there. All right. Yeah, 
about 82% of my body? Uh, 86. Am I right since you did a little work on this one? This is the old fire station up here on the left where they see training center. Yeah. I watched my son repel out of that building after they set it on fire when he was a firefighter. That's pretty cool. I've seen your uh, previous video going through here where you said that. Yeah, yeah. you have, yes. There was the fire uh, training center. You pick up the river right up to this bridge and follow it all the way downtown. It's a really nice trail. Oh, definitely, yeah. I've got seen the it. Of the river. I've seen it driving by. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't have that wooden uh, fence there. You can run near that river. Wouldn't oh, yeah. yeah. It's even banked off right here. <laughs> you, yeah, you can be right in the river. I've been metal assist two this whole time. Yeah, I've been in three this whole time. That's why we're doing good on the mileage, too. in Finley Street up here. Over there is Route 4. Yeah? Over there past it, Baltimore. That's Route 4, Stebbins. He's right back up in there. I tell so many people on this channel, we are blessed with so many good bike trails. Oh yeah, definitely. We can go anywhere in this state if we want to. up here on the left. People just bring their trucks and just dump it. And they got a free landfill. Don't even cost them. Yeah. Convenience is the whole thing these days. I guess so. down here before. Yeah? We'll go through Riverscape first, because we're going to go right by it. Oh, here's Dayton Children's, okay. Yeah, Children's right there. That's a pretty neat scenery. Oh, definitely, yeah. I mean, it ain't like the ocean or the beach, but... there all the time you would want to see something like this yeah probably something like mountains Maybe take some pictures. Yep. Caleb wants to get some pictures over here. There's graffiti on the wall, so it's got to go. 
get another uh, video like yesterday. Get another uh, short. Yeah. This time, this time do it in vertical. Uh huh. Yeah, because uh, I know YouTube only recognizes shorts in vertical. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, I did know that. That's why you see everybody taking them in vertical. Alrighty, kiddos, we're going to do a, a little surround round here of the bikes and a little bit of a uh, wall over here on the bridge. Maybe get a little bit of it down there. Then I can edit out anything that's bad. Yeah, because we only need a minute anyway. And so I guess you could really work three minutes, but they prefer one minute videos. Yeah. All right, we'll turn this thing around. <laughs> Just head back down there. We ain't far now. No. The rain's a lot of spring. It floods this trail out on up here about a half a mile. You can't get it good by it. I think so, based on uh, the river being yep. so close. But you can go up to the top of the levee, and there's a trail up there, too. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you can actually uh, go up where see the concrete up there? Yeah. You can get up on that top trail. And uh, go that way, too. If I remember correctly, it goes the whole way. all over the place they're all over down here sometimes i gotta you know, almost run them over because they won't get off the trail oh yeah they get like 10 or 12 of them right in the middle until they see these fat tires coming you got a horn on there too right yes i think you got one on there but i ain't sure uh maybe not no it doesn't look like it on your left Bunch of them right there. Better move, little Casey. Here we go. I did get his attention. Yeah, that one that was next to me hissed at me. <laughs> did he hiss at you? Yeah. He probably got a nest really close. That wouldn't be too surprising. Well, when they're on them nests, they'll chase you down. They won't let you get more close to that. That one right there. They do that that nest down in there. The city of Dayton just spent $40,000 to hire this company because the waterworks department, the geese are running them off. They're trying to bite them. Yeah. So they had to hire this company that's got a pack of dogs and they bring them down there every day to scare, to scare them off so they'll finally leave the area. They said they bring them down every day to scare them off. See what you're saying about the wind right here. Yes. We're heading right into it. You'll get our back from the back. That'll definitely be nice. Yes. I could have worn another jacket, it's been a little more comfortable. Their gloves wouldn't hurt today either. Yeah. I knew this was when we hit this one, we're gonna hit some wind today. Nice little ride down here. Right down there, 
transition. You like to fish, Caleb? I've never really went fishing. Oh my gosh. I've been fishing since I was a kid. Been deep sea fishing on a barracuda. Yeah. Got it on the boat. And the captain said, you better not touch that thing. It'll bite you. They cut the head off of it right there on the ship. That is a predator fish for sure. We'd be deep sea fishing and we catch a fish. And half the fish would be missing trying to get it to the boat. Yeah. Barracuda's just... Cut them in half. Yeah, they put the levee down here for the kayakers. They did that a couple years ago. Yeah. This whole fountain thing down here, I'm disappointed they spent the money they spent on that. And it's, it's not all that. You ever seen your fountain working down here? Uh, once. You see it on the highway sometimes. Right? They spent about millions of dollars to get that thing, and the company they hired either went out of business or they had to sue them. Because they would, they didn't finish the uh, project. Yeah. They had to hire another company to finish it. Not sure what that building is going to be. This is a little precarious here. <laughs> yeah, especially if you go over that wall. You'd be in the river. Yeah. Might get hurt on the rocks first. They really do need a fence coming down through here sometime. Maybe like on the highway, the little wire fences they have. Yeah, that probably wouldn't be a bad idea right here. Just enough to catch you. Yep. Deflect you back on the trail anyway. <laughs> It'd be pretty cold falling that river this time of year. Oh, yeah. That's hypothermia water there. Okay, once we get back to buildings up here there's a trail goes all the way up the hill and goes left. That's where we're going. Alright. Follow that yellow sign is down there. When you get up there and take the bike way north. See what I mean about all the geese down here? They're all oh, yeah. Here. It's right past the sign that goes and makes a real quick sharp left. Yeah, I see that right there. That's where we're going. We, we, we have to walk the bikes up the stairs if we go the other way. Yeah, right here. Right there. That's where we'll be coming back. This would be a one-way ticket to the ground right here. Yeah, yeah we got left here. Skating. 
I've been down here before a couple times. Have you? Yeah. I don't know when they opened this. Sometime, I think, in December. Now, that's how you do it. You don't fall. Uh-huh. <laughs> I've never seen those before. Oh, I couldn't stand up on ice skates. I can roller skate, but I don't know about ice skates. Have you ever ice skated? Yeah, a couple times here, actually. Have you? So you can do it? Uh, not good, but I can't, I guess I can. You stay on your feet? Mm-hmm. Okay, we're going to go into the video here. And then uh, like and share and uh, subscribe.